Here he is. Oh, 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 oh. It's Gary. Are you kidding? What happened? You look great. I feel fantastic. I'm like so excited to have you on here. Thank you so much for joining us. No, of um, course. You are such a great example of someone who is always looking to find balance. You are so known for enjoying a cocktail and you are so known for enjoying your barbecued meat or whatever. And you still, Bert, every single day, you post that you're on your treadmill or you post that you're in your pool or you're pushing your girls, you know, to work out. Balance is, balance is my, what I'm looking for right now the most out of anything. By the way, anyone who doesn't know me, I sh you should preface everything I'm saying with, it's a joke. I want everything to be funny. We bought a new house and we're, mm -hmm. we're not doing anything with it, but we got this great backyard that is just empty. So we've been going over there and watering the plants and letting the dogs run and letting the girls run. And I went and I was like, I had worked out hard and I was like, I'm gonna have a cold beer. I haven't drank a beer in probably three months. I had right. a cold beer on a hot day when the sun was setting. And I said to myself, this is what balance is. I feel like that's anything. I don't think it necessarily has to be alcohol. It can be if someone's like dieting really hard and they, they just want to enjoy pizza. Like, but I'm a firm believer in um, never feeling like you're depriving yourself. Yeah. This is my favorite heart story ever. I went to the cardiologist, obviously did the stress test, uh, did, did the EKG, did all the other stuff. And then he said, hey, your dad also uh, requested you get a CTE scan, which is basically it runs all your veins, all your blockage, tells you if you have any blockage so that they can find it ahead of time. And I got really scared. And, I, the, and when I walked in at Cedar sinai the woman behind the desk was an older black woman. And she said to me, you look nervous. I said, I, I am very nervous. I said, I gotta be honest with you, I don't wanna be here. And she said, honey, let me tell you a little secret. The fact that you walked through those two doors means that one day they're not gonna roll you through those two doors. And let me tell you something, if they roll you through those two doors, this is where you don't wanna be. But if you walk through those two doors, then you guarantee you'll never have a bad day getting rolled into those doors. And I was, that I was like, okay. You said that your dad lost his dad when he was really young? 13. And his dad had a heart attack? Yeah, stroke. Ah, so it's so smart that you that your dad made you go in. I'm the reason Bill Burr has a cardiologist. Bill and I were talking and I said, what's your blood pressure? And he goes, I don't know. I said, that's the wrong answer. You gotta know your blood pressure, especially you. It's better to get on medicine now and be safe. Cause that's how we lost Patrice, was he just didn't, he just wasn't keeping up to up with that. And then all of a sudden one day, your blood pressure has been 170 over 20, 120 for like, for like five months and all of a sudden it's done irreparable damages and you have a stroke. Bill and I have the same cardiologist. I think Jim Jeffries has the same cardiologist. I'm hardcore about it with my friends that are comics where I go, hey, gotta get on that. Right. I'm not the healthiest guy out there by any stretch of the means. I did the, I did the LA Marathon in five hours and 33 minutes, no training. Didn't train at all, just went out and did it and ran it. I wanna say I ran like 12 minute miles. And anyone who's listening, do not try this at home. Do the Malibu Triathlon just hit me up and they're like, yo, heard you saying you wanna try it. Are you in? And I was like, yeah, they're like, swim, bike, run. I ran the LA Marathon five years ago. I wish I could do it again. Well, maybe we'll do it together. Maybe we'll get a big group and we'll do a big group run. Don't tempt me, because I'm going to hold you to it. I'll tempt you.